I was sent this unit here, which is pretty much an all around unit. We have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It has a dash cam built in, it's wireless. It syncs up with your phone. It's an all in one type of deal here, what we have here. I'm gonna show you an unboxing of it. In the video description, I will have a link to where you can purchase your own. This works on new cars as well as, as, well as older cars, which doesn't have a screen like this, where you could send your GPS from your phone straight to the screen. In case you got that older type of car, we got you covered here, okay? I'm gonna open it up, like I said. We got magnets here that holds this flat closed. So we're gonna pop it open. Protect the foam on top. Here's the unit itself. Let's open this one up here first. Slide it out. Huge display right here. You got foil foam on the bottom, sticky. Here's your camera on the back right here, like so. I'm just gonna show you everything that comes in the box. Then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. And we're gonna take it from there. Take this off. Here's your mount for your windshield. Mounts up to here. Nice quality, feels solid in the hand. Here's your car charger that goes in the cigarette lighter. You also have USB connection right here. Comes with a 64 gig USB card. I'm assuming without looking, this is aux cables. Here's your instructions. If you need any help, this is the company you're gonna reach out to right here. L-Y-T-D-Z-C-A at 126.com. Okay. After service card, the list, product installation problems, whatever, if you have any issues or to upgrade your firmware, you're gonna go to this website, okay? I'm gonna show you how to take off the dash stand and we're gonna put the suction cup mount on. As you see, there's four screws that go in here, coincide with the four screws that go in here. So you're gonna unscrew this. So it moves out of your way. You're gonna take your screwdriver that's supplied, pop your four screws out. Do not lose the screws. It goes in this orientation on the glass, I should say. With the arm facing down, so it could swivel up and down, okay? So you're gonna take it, line it up like this. Attach your four screws in place. Okay, that's how you mount your dash cam to your windshield, okay? This over here is how you loosen up your ball mount right here. You tighten this down and it locks it into place once it's tight up there, so it's firm, okay? This over here is how you get your swivel. You tighten this up once you have it on the windshield and it locks the whole arm into place. You're gonna take the provided memory card and you're gonna put it into the slot over here on the side for the memory card. It goes with the pins facing up, not down like you would think. So you're gonna put it in like so, and you're gonna press it in. If you're having trouble pressing it in, you get the little screwdriver that came with it and gently push it in. Boom, once it goes in, it locks in and it doesn't just flush. Once you put your memory card in, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna go down to home. You're gonna push the house button. You're gonna go down to the settings key right here. You're gonna go down to format. Press format. Format erases everything on the memory card. You're gonna hit format, it's formatting. Format successful. That's it. Set it up on the glass right now on the windshield. You know, pull off the protective film on your suction cup mount and we're gonna mount it as low as you can to the dashboard as straight as possible in the center of the car like so and we're gonna rotate it up tighten this screw right here 
as tight as you can get it with him, like so. Then you're gonna come to this one down here in the back and you're gonna tighten this one up too as well. As tight as you can get it. And that's how I'm gonna have it mounted on my car right here. You can see how it looks right there. There's the front view. I have this plug, comes with a 12 foot power cable that plugs into your cigarette lighter. 12 foot is more than enough. You can route it around pretty to hide the wires. This is what it looks like right now. As you can see, it's already started recording. Once you set up your phone for Bluetooth, then you have your wireless Apple CarPlay connected phone. You go into here, and as you see over here, you have all your maps and whatever apps you have on Apple CarPlay. There's your maps, there's your music, and you got your phone. Everything is built in, okay? If you need a bigger screen, you're gonna hit this button here. And now you have split screen. So if you have music playing, it will be over here. You have your maps over here. Your desk, this is Apple Apple uh, Maps right here. If you have Waze apps or anything, they'll be lined up over here on the side. And I still have the protective film on here. And this thing is very accurate and it's fast. Once you swipe, it moves. There's no delay in it. So it's a very good, good quality touch screen you have right here. Most people are going to use the the maps function and as you can see it's right there no issues okay. we found the gas station let's see steward we're gonna go to stewards right here let's see starting route to steward shops it's loud enough that you're gonna hear it based on baker drive then it's gonna tell you where you gotta go yard. okay when you go here you can even have your android auto or apple carplay and this screen right here which just mirrors everything what you have on your phone wirelessly. Nothing's connected. You're gonna have your Bluetooth options in the Bluetooth section. The DVR is your dash cam right there. And you have your menus on the bottom. This is to start and stop the recording. Touch it if it goes off. This is to lock it. Say you get in an accident or something, you hit that button, it will lock that video right there so you won't be able to erase it unless you unlock it. Here's to take a picture, whatever the camera sees is what it takes a picture of. Here's your playback function right here, like so. There's your your recordings right here, okay? The oldest one will be in the bottom, the newest one will be on the top, okay? Self-explanatory, very well thought out. Playback is just gonna play back all your things without going in through the camera menu. And then you have the, the FM transmitter button, which is used if you don't have a FM radio in your car, you can use that right there and it'll play your FM stations through this through here, okay? Now, if you have this connected to your auxiliary port, everything, like I said, will play through your car stereo speakers, okay? Over here, you have your menu button. The house button brings you to this menu. You got your screen brightness where you could touch and slide, the brighter, darker, whatever you want. Come down here, you got the the built-in volume, like I said, is all touch slide, very accurate, no delay in it. Come down here and you have your settings menu. Like I said, screen saver is just to turn off the display here. So at nighttime, come here, you're gonna turn it on 10 seconds, 30 or one. So within 10 seconds, your screen will go black until you touch it, then it will pop back on, okay? That's what that is. Image mirror. Microphone, sp split time. Like I said, split time is the recording option. You want a one minute clip, three minute clip, or five minute clip. Five minute is good for me. Re record resolution is the 1080p. You got 2.5K to 720p. And you got 720p to 720p. 1080p to 1080p is what I have mine set to. The voice control. It'll go here, show front camera, turn, this is what you could, you speak to it and it'll tell you what to do. Driving position is what side of the street you drive on. Reverse line calibration, if you have a backup camera, you could calibrate the turning radius, okay? You have your language there to change your languages. You got everything you need there in languages. Self-explanatory, set the date, the time and all that. Format the memory card. Every time you put a new memory card, you always want to format it 
regardless of if it's this camera or any camera, always format it to the system that is being used with. You got a factory reset, which will clear everything out and reset it back to like brand new, okay? Like I said, this is well thought out, well invented, great camera. There you go. What more can you ask for? Apple wireless car play, okay? Very done. Questions, comments, leave them below. I get back to everyone. Hope that video helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. In the video description, I will have a link to where you can purchase your own unit, which you're going to love. I guarantee it. Okay? Take care, fellas. Peace.